Ayan, magandang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Once again, this is Apo Adman ng Lunsiang Agama Natural Divine Arts and Healing. And I'm, I am very grateful today that new life has found me. No? I wake up this morning with a new strength. This proves that your prayers really work. So don't stop praying because there is a miracle that is about to happen when you continue to pray. Especially if we all unite together in prayer we can achieve the most impossible things in life. So, this morning, this is Sunday, this is just a recorded message, no? a recording. So, I, didn't, I will try to do my previous uh, things or actions, no? that is to record myself on the video. And I will post this on Monday. I hope that you like the episode that I've created last night which is my journey towards healing and I record myself on making healthy food that could help me survive or overcome this stroke although this is my first time to speak again since since I woke up I thought I really feel normal and I am a little bit disappointed because I can still hear myself like this, no? My face does, doesn't move. And, but my mind still works, no? It works, and as it works, it, I speak whatever I think. But I should still be grateful because I still have my life, no? And my mentor, teacher, Lady Liz Hamilton of the Korean Tradition, have encouraged me now speak up even your voice tremble now my voice is not trembling it is just slurred because of my stroke so i will keep on speaking and praying and telling what is in my mind and i will be continue be, to become a channel or to become the voice of the spirit to this world people might not be happy of what i am doing especially in terms of the 100 days devotion and people might think that I am making a sin on social media by doing this but as I always said when I started the peace prayer ministry you know, this is the only choice of work that I, I I embrace to do because without peace there will be no prosperity without peace how can people enjoy life living on earth if there is always envy jealousy and hatred to one another as you can see I still have life right now and this is the result of your unified prayer and this is a number one proof that prayer works because there are many situations that could happen to me no if really the universe don't want me here in this planet no the goddess and the god will just snap their finger and take off the life within me but still i am here so sorry to everyone that who wishes me bad and still alive because God wants me to do something more and and this is what I think of no there are 195 countries around the world and I'm thinking if there are 195 people to dedicate themselves in praying for that specific country by knowing its population and their activities in that country, no, we could preserve peace throughout the world. Right now, I see many people are praying for Ukraine, praying for Russia, and praying for peace. But the work of peace must be done every day, not only when the need arises. We need to be vigilant more often especially in praying for peace not only for a certain country but also to the place 
where we live in our country as i have always said that peace starts with us the peace that we could have in our daily life is very important it is important on how you pray for peace and give the peace in your life and how you connect with your, yourself to other people you know that is very important the smile that you could give to the people that you don't know the help that you could extend with the food that you could share or the drink that you could give to that person is a form of peace weaving and it matters it really matters the kindness that you do really matters because that small kindness act of kindness will bear a big difference a fruit of peace in the near future so as praying for peace is like taking your medicine once you miss your medicine there is a great effect in your life no especially on my part right now no i am thankful to my physical doctor and to my spiritual doctors who are taking care of me such as lakai maria sir paulo tangpus and the key of god and so many other people who extend their love on me and their prayers really work on my life you know this is the prayer of love that they are sending me also your prayer works if you hate me and you pray negatively to me it works i congratulate you but the work of love is greater than the work of hate remember that so as the prayer of the people of the children of god who comes together in love has a power to end all the sufferings that we have in this world so i hope this message will touch everyone's life and i want to take this opportunity to thank lord donald lewis lady stephanie neil sir ed hubbard lady liz hamilton lady alicia maxson and uh who else lady lori denman um and i forgot everyone no? but everyone to all the koralian elders and priesthood i am thanking you for thinking of me for praying for me and i am receiving all the energies the positive thoughts that you are sending towards me so i hope you don't i know don't stop uh sending your love to me i really wish to be well i know i still have many works to do especially in recovering and reconstructing the philippine tradition it's just right now that the filipino girls are getting known you know i don't want to stop i want even up to the time of my death the names of the filipino girls be still known because no one have tell it that we have a god modern witches here in the philippines seeking refuge to the foreign gods gods like isis like hecate like diana like venus etc etc but no one have taken the name of bathala lakapati del masalanta we have our own god and this god remains and it works even up to this point of time and there is no uh disagreement among the gods of the world because there is one power in the universe and this is what the koralian tradition have taught me that's why i am working forward to revive all these gods in our country to be known and thank you very much i hope that this message will find you safely and move your heart to pray for peace every day don't miss it because it is your daily dose of medicine to your spirit and soul so until then see you